Hello and welcome back to my channel. If it's your first time on this channel, you're welcome. I am Anne Aim Pochen. I'm an author and I also do business. Now today's video is for that part of my channel where we talk about business. And today I'm going to be sharing with you the first 25 of 50 um, business and investment opportunities that you can do in Kenya, okay? That you can do in Kenya. Number one being real estate, okay? In large urban centers, towns and rural communities basically there is an overwhelming interest in land and small plots in almost every community in kenya owning a piece of land has been a converted investment and with increasing population this has become even more urgent okay you are almost assured a hundred percent that you will make very huge gains in this business if you have access to a larger capital base, so basically you have you need quite a little bit, a lot of capital, okay? Um, startup money basically, yeah. You will make much more by buying and developing the land than selling it off, okay? Um, this can be this can work very well in the outskirts of Nairobi, such as Kamulu. Joska Isinga Nyok um sorry Gong Kiserian and other towns where land is still inexpensive. So these are areas where it's not that expensive. Put it in the comment section if you're anywhere in those places in Kenya and if you are in another place where it's inexpensive to buy land and to develop properties on for real estate purposes okay put in the comment section let us know um with that said you can watch who can you watch you can watch um trudy miss trudy you can watch her videos on land purchasing land for um for real estate purposes okay you can watch those videos on her channel and also if you want to um see an idea of people who have developed their properties within kenya you can also watch wadamaya's um property videos like ceo interviews with wadamaya in kenya you can so that you can have an idea of the kind of properties that see uh, that a lot of people real estate investors invest into okay so number two let us go on to number two which is child care center okay with increasing cases of insecurity from house helps who abuse or sell babies many parents are opting to take their non-school going children to child care centers many middle class parents in kenya have working mothers and fathers who leave home as early as 5:30 a.m. and get back home as late as 7 p.m. Okay, thanks to perennial traffic holdups in our roads, especially in Nairobi and Mombasa. So that is the reason why opening up a childcare centre would be very, very um a very lucrative business, but it's also very profitable for the families in those um, communities that need them um, so yeah I was about to share something that I don't think I should share but yeah number three is taxi cabin okay taxi cabs are probably one of the most one of the oldest forms of transportation within African cities and towns they are preferred by higher income earners for short and long trips within the city although cab fares can be much higher than motorcycle and tricycle taxis okay um while taxi cabs are known known to pick customers off the road private hire taxis taxi cars serve customers who make a prior booking okay those people will book their taxis in advance okay especially via telephone um Although many taxi cabs in the cities are operated by their owners, there is growing trend of private taxi cab companies on the continent. Okay, so number four, e-commerce 
stores okay e-commerce stores and i think this is a very profitable business because i recently opened my online store and it has been doing amazing although even though people are saying that you know the economy has broken down crashing all of that because of the pandemic um we are still thriving okay <laughs> thanks to the e-commerce space it's a booming business at the moment okay um by providing a platform for all these people to sell their items you will make good money come up with an online store such as jumia okay a lot of people use jumia um pigame rupu etc okay ask people to place their items for sale at a small fee and make this platform vigorously and sorry and market this platform vigorously okay so market it very well okay your platform should have categories for example cars real estate households electronics furnitures clothes gift items jewelry books foods services etc okay which means etc okay complete with beautiful pictures for easy navigation so make sure that you provide if you're going to go into the e-commerce business make sure that you provide these categories because people like to sell these categories online okay online as much as people like to buy these categories online it gives you know the market an opportunity to own a space within your online store so yeah um number five is a vending machine kenyans are busy people and many of them would like to buy things quickly and move on you can meet this need by installing a vending machine for stuff for stuff such as water milk juice soft drinks snacks sweet cigarettes newspaper egg so basically a vending machine you probably know what it looks like and um, yeah just having that and then stocking it up with the items that people would buy in the area that of course is busy area where people are always going to work or you know going to um, yeah going to work going to school and um, families family orientated areas as well so yeah um, number six event and party planning every day week month and year kenyans are partying company and religious entertainment events weddings birthdays and many other events are taking place everywhere all the time planning and holding parties can be a very stressful undertaking okay many people who are throwing these parties and events could be busy and may desperately need others to plan and execute for them generally this works this work goes for a flat fee depending upon the size of the party okay by targeting at least two or three parties or events in a week imagine that you will make imagine what you will make in a year so it's very lucrative business depending on the size of course of the party and the event that you are planning okay and how often you plan them as well so yeah seven number seven consulting if you are good at solving issues or if people always come to you for help on certain areas well maybe it could be it could be time to offer your services to people out there at a fee okay businesses need consultants who can help them realize their mission and visions individuals want help with the problems in their lives people are always willing to pay you if you can help them stay focused and work their way towards achieving their goals that is true okay so you can consult individuals you can consult businesses okay depending on which one you, you'd rather prefer of course you have to be able to solve their problems okay or help them solve their problems for them so for them yeah number eight coaching if you are good at a particular subject or area you can also teach others at a fee thus 
could be students, business people or employees. Yeah? You can you stand a good chance of making money with this business idea in Kenya. You could choose to do it face to face or online. Okay? I would say do it online because because of like the pandemic issue. Um yeah, a lot more people are doing courses online um tuitions online so i would say opt for now opt for the online rather than the face-to-face -face. but if of course um what's it called if your town or city um, enables you to do face-to-face -face, you can do face-to-face -face as well okay number nine government contractor Many youth and women have won tenders worth millions of shillings to supply stationery, grade roads, offer services such as cleaning or repairs, and many others with the creation of county governments in the new constitution. Servicing tenders will be a major business idea in Kenya. All you need to do is to register a company and look out for these tenders in the daily newspapers okay so make sure you've registered your company and then look out for the tenders in the newspapers yeah let me know in the comment section if you know any papers that have these tenders so that people who are looking to go into this business can actually access those papers okay put it in the comment section for me if you know them if you're in kenya and you know about these newspapers with tenders in them okay um number 10 janitorial services residential and commercial buildings must be regularly cleaned with many companies and county governments now outsourcing their cleaning needs for buildings and business premises the opportunity is in offering cleaning services it's actually a very viable business because i used to be an office cleaner yes and they pay well as much as they also um, get the owners of the business get paid well okay so as in the people who supply the cleaners for the company okay so number oh still on the same um still on the same um what's it called number with a few cleaning tools and shampoos you can negotiate with owners of these buildings and businesses to clean their premises at a monthly fee okay you can charge as much as a hundred thousand or even five hundred thousand shillings depending on the size of the building okay number 11 garbage collection okay garbage collection those people get paid you know those people get paid money anyway um what's it called garbage collection services by local authorities collapsed in kenya deca decades ago this service is now provided by private private individuals and private entities for residential areas the major opportunity is in the collection and disposal of garbage okay and um, generated in the houses we also have those services available in the uk okay um and they get paid really well the, I mean the cleaners and the contractors get paid okay um, walk around and sign homes to collect garbage from a, from at a fee say 500 shillings per house per month with thousands of Kenyans having built their own homes in Nairobi and its outskirts and also in other major towns this business opportunity in Kenya is limitless okay so yeah you can get contract like in various places okay number 12 school and college school and college now if i was in kenya this would be the business that i would be going into keep an eye out guys okay we will be coming to kenya soon okay Every year, thousands of children sit for national exams in Kenya, but only a few get to get admitted to secondary school or universities. Okay, the demand for schools and other colleges in Kenya outstrips supply. Okay, so basically, there are more students than there are schools and colleges. 
in Kenya. Year after year, thousands of school leavers are unable to get a place to advance their education. Qualified and experienced teachers in all subjects and competent school administrators are readily available in Kenya. This is good information for me too. Okay. Um, <laughs> Uh, hire a few of them and provide quality equipment and facilities and you and you will attract thousands of candidates mm -hmm. number 13 agri value addition kenya's economy is essentially still agri-based so that's agriculture okay and looking around almost every single home in rural kenya and many urban homes there is some sort of agriculture going on food is is and will always be the demand all over the world agri business is therefore one of the biggest business ideas in kenya you can never go wrong if you add value to agricultural produce and sell for example instead of just selling milk turn it into mala which is sour milk yogurt or cheese you will fetch much better prices in the market okay so this would be something that i'll probably go for because i have a food store called ahp food store where i do um plant food, plant you know um crops for food from seasoning herbs to actual vegetables and eventually will go into fruit growing as well so Keep an eye out, check it out on Instagram and also on Facebook, AHP Food Store, okay? Um, okay, number 14, bakery and fast food. From wheat flour to corn flour and other forms of flour, Kenyans just love to eat big meals. This is one of the reasons why you may want to consider starting a bakery business, okay? Before you start out, it is vital, can or all, Gather all it's, it's vital to gather all necessary information that you will need along the line. So gather your information, okay, that you will need before starting this business, okay. Number 14, okay, number 14, poultry business. Starting a poultry farm might appear easy, but starting it as a business too is something entirely different. This means that you are not only just a chicken farmer but an entrepreneur as well starting this business you would need to define your target market and the part of chicken industry you intend to go into the chicken industry has two main parts layers okay where the chicken breed chickens bred also lay or produce eggs yeah or number two broilers where chicken are bred mainly mainly for me okay so choose the one that you want to go into you can do both but it's always good to focus on one or the other okay now for you to, to see and to have an idea of running a poultry business in kenya check out guardian angels cuckoo farm okay cuckoo farm on um on youtube check it out check out his channel okay guardian angel cook angel cuckoo farm okay so yeah number number 16 aquaculture delving into the fish farming business means that you must have knowledge about the business why is this important you might ask this is especially important because you do not want to come across as a dullard okay basically somebody who doesn't know what they're talking about or doing um who is in business you can start out by carrying out a thorough research on the internet so check online okay all about fish farming yeah and again go and watch what am i on agri um what's it called aqua aquaculture yeah the videos that he's done basically of fish farming produce they're not in uh, they're not in kenya 
they're more in Ghana if I remember correctly but you can still learn a thing or two and then plus do your own online research okay for based in Kenya number 17 freelance writing this would be something that I would do okay if I was in Kenya okay but yeah um, number 17 freelance writing it is very possible to become either a full-time freelance writer earning a living or to be a part-time freelancer supplementing a regular inc paid income another role is to simply do it for fun or to build up a broader portfolio of skills in this article you get the basics on what it will um, take to ease your way into freelance writing as a career or to be put properly turn your writing hobby into a career that doesn't affect your day job okay so um so yeah you can check out fiverr the, the that platform is for freelance writers where people will ask you to write for um specifically either for a magazine or a newspaper column or um or articles for their websites yeah things like that or even write for them their books they'll talk out their books and then you have to write it out okay um and of course they'll pay you for it okay so number mm, Number 18, pest control business, okay? Um, pest control business. If you are thinking of starting a business that can guarantee you steady income, then one of your options is to consider starting pest control business. Pest control businesses is a business that is involved in removing or eradicating potentially harmful insects, rodent and reptiles from farms, commercial and residential properties. These days there are these days more than be, ever before in the world, more and more people are conscious of eradicating things that might bring ill health to them. So you will find that it is very it is a very good business to start. Okay. Number 19, this jockey. Employ your compilations of music from so basically this jockey is a DJ okay um variety of errors to please every generation in music the wedding dj can make or break the event if you have a lot of energy knack for detail love for music and personality this could be perfect could be the perfect role for you some djs also have served as the wedding planner by learning both traits so you can make yourself more valuable to your clients okay so you can add on your business um learning how to do event planning uh now if uh, i wish they had well they have a channel but they don't really do djing on their channel but yeah if you know dj mom size eight reborns husband he's a dj and there's another dj what's his oh dj crowbar yeah there's quite a few djs who are very successful in kenya so yeah follow their page on instagram follow dj mo kenya on instagram you'll see what i'm talking about um yeah um number 20 number 20 yes vehicle towing obtaining a license to start or operate an automotive towing business can be a frustrating task since auto towing licenses are heavily regulated okay so there's a lot of policies that goes with this business yeah some operators of towing companies forego the license entirely and don't provide towing services to the general public instead they only subcontract their services on an exclusive basis to car dealers and property managers so you choose you want to go through the hustle or you want to 
leave that and offer a subcontract it's up to you whichever one you choose okay number 21 um number 21 and we will stop here just because i don't want it to be too long okay um is cooling vans kenya is a relatively hot and nobody wants to kenya is relatively hot and nobody wants to drink warm drinks okay you can tap into this idea by starting a cooling van business you will ice drinks with your cooling van this business is mobile and the and with the right marketing strategy you'll be you will have a wedding to attend every week okay so you can also serve at weddings cool people's drinks at weddings um yeah let us stop there so anyway if you have questions to do with business in general whether you're in kenya or outside of kenya feel free to put it in the comment section and i'll respond to you accordingly if this um video has helped you in any way and you like this kind of content give it a thumbs up and share with your friends and family who you think are entrepreneurial and would want one of two of the ideas that i have shared on this video okay now if 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 your question in terms of business is too personal for the comment section, feel free to send me a, a Facebook, um, Instagram or Twitter DM and I'll respond to you there accordingly. Other than that, have a great evening and I shall see you in the next video. Bye.